I know so many people have been patiently waiting for this review. They're here. The L-Style Phantom Flights review begins right now. Let's go. Okay, guys, you ready for this? It is L-Style Phantom Flights review time. I cannot wait to share this one with you. Such an amazing product here. Now, let me give you the quick backstory of what happened. Earlier this year, early 2023, these were released, I think it was like April or May, something like that. And I'm not entirely sure what the issue was. It may have been a formulation issue. It may have been a design issue. Again, I'm not entirely sure, but L-Style pulled them back and they went back to work redesigning them. They just wanted to make these things perfect. Now, fast forward to present time, yeah, that's exactly what they did. You know what? This is probably one of the nicer products I've reviewed this entire year. That's how much I like them. Now, check this out. Probably going back a couple weeks ago, they contacted me and asked me if I wanted to test some of these out. And I went, yeah, absolutely. Send them my way. So that's what they did. I've been testing them for a few days now. And I can tell you right now, these will be my new match flights going forward. Absolutely love them. Such a quality product. And um, yeah, just amazing as you're about to see. Now, the big question is, you're probably wondering, well, hey, when can I get my hands on a set? Now, the projected launch date for this, where they're going to be available in the UK as well as the United States, is going to be exactly one month from now, December 1st. That's the projected launch date, and you'll be able to buy these. Now, you're probably wondering, also wondering, well, what sizes and colors and all that? Well, I'm going to discuss that here in the next, next minute or so. But a um, lot to cover, so let's get right into it, guys. This is going to be an awesome video. You ready? Here we go, L-Style Phantoms. All righty, guys, so let me start off this video by telling you what's going to be available on their projected launch date of December 1st. So here in about a month from now, they're going to have two different shape flights, and I can tell you about those real quick. They're going to have an L1 standard size. They're also going to have an L3 shape, and I can show you the difference here really quick. The blue is the L1 standard. The green is the L3 shape. Now, as you see there, the standard on the left, the blue, a little bit bigger. They got the design in the middle. In the L3 shape, as you see there, a little bit smaller with the L-Style logo kind of up in the top corners. And that's pretty much the only difference there. So those are the shapes. Those are the two shapes they're going to start with. Now, as far as the colors, the L1 standard, we're going to have black, blue. They're also going to have red and clear. Now, as far as the L3 shape, they're going to have black, green, as you see here. They're also going to have purple and pink. Now, as far as the price goes, now this is going to depend on what country you buy them in or what dart shop. So it's going to vary. However, expect to pay right around 9.95 euro, somewhere around 10 to 11 US dollars. So again, that's going to vary from dart shop to dart shop, from country to country, but that's about an approximate price you can expect. But let's roll into the next clip and I'm going to show you all the features of the brand new L-Style Phantom Flights. Okay, guys, I want to start with this feature because, believe it or not, there's a lot of players out there that simply aren't aware of this for whatever reason. But did you know you do not, I repeat, you do not have to use an L-Style stem with L-Style flights. You can use whatever stem you want. However, I did want to start with this example just because of, man, look how good that looks, right? That's the L-Style carbon stems. So, yeah, perfect setup there. But look at this. Working equally as well, we just have a generic white nylon stem. These are like 25 cents a set. And uh, these flights work perfectly on a generic set of nylon stems, any shape, any size, any length stem you want. We also have some Harrow's Super Grip Carbon stems here. Again, that works equally as well. And if you want to go super extreme, we've got some Red Dragon Joust. I think, what are these, like 65 millimeters long? That's what Luke Humphreys uses. And uh, yeah, works Perfect. So, uh, yeah, you do not have to use an L-Style stem with L-Style flights. One of the huge benefits, use whatever set of stems you want, although I do not recommend alloy. You pretty much can't use metal, but, yeah, any nylon or carbon stem, and you are good to go. All righty, guys, let me hit you with the rest of the important features. And if you see over here, we even have the scales. So I'll get the L1s on the scale, and I'll compare them to the L3s over there, the slightly smaller L3s. I have no idea what they weigh, by the way, but we're going to find out here in just a second. So the important question is, you're probably wondering, how rigid or how firm are these flights? Well, the simple answer is, 
They are very rigid, comparable to many of the other popular molded flights on the market. I mean, look at this. I could squeeze them to the flight's touch, and they are always going to spring right back into perfect 90-degree angle there. I mean, it doesn't matter if you lay your darts down for hours on end. These will not warp, and they're always going to spring right back into perfect 90-degree angles. Now, another important feature, check this out. I really like this. Look at that reinforced edge running along the bottom. Not a lot of molded flights have that, and this one actually wraps up around the corner. So this entire bottom edge is reinforced. So many of these molded flights have a tendency to rip along the bottom. These will not. So yeah, really nice to see that reinforced edge and a little bit harder to see, but it's also reinforced up top, probably about 12 millimeters here. Yeah, I guess you can make it out there, but yeah, reinforced edges on these flights. That's awesome to see. Now, another important feature here, check this out. We have the integrated champagne ring. As you see there, it's round. So what that does, it presses right over these prongs on the back of the stem. Now, check that out. Your stem is totally protected. And honest to God, guys, a single set of stems, I don't see why it wouldn't last a year, two years, three years. I don't know how you would break a set of stems unless you get some horrific bounce out and you break them at the threads. But otherwise, yeah, a single set of stems going to pretty much last forever because they're protected back here. And another feature with that, Robin Hood's are completely eliminated. Now, I'm sure there's somebody out there with the world's sharpest points will somehow find a way to Robin Hood that, but for 99.9% .9 of us, yeah, you simply will not. It's, it's impossible to Robin Hood these things. So yeah, that's a really nice feature. No more Robin Hoods, right? So no more Robin Hoods, no more broken stems, reinforced edges, and perfect 90 degree angles at all times. Now, let's get these on the scale. Again, I don't know what they weigh. I have no idea what they weigh. Now check this out. We have some old L-style Easy Flight. It's just a regular kind of that soft rubber. I have no idea what this weighs. All right, 0.68. So that compares to the Phantoms at, this is, and remember, that's the L1. So 1.06. Let's find out what the slightly smaller, get on there. All right, yeah, 1.06. So the slightly smaller L3, that weighs. Oh, wow. So, yeah, there's hardly any weight difference at all, even though I guess there's just really not a lot of size difference here, right? I'm going to double check that once again. Yeah, I mean, definite size difference. But as far as weight goes, I mean, what was that? Two one hundredths of a gram difference? 106? And no, that was 104, right? So yeah, literally no weight difference whatsoever between the two sizes. So, well, that's what they weigh, guys. And now, I guess that's my match darts, right? So we're going to get these on the board. I'm going to throw them with the L1s, the slightly larger size. If I can get that back on there. But yeah, they press in easy enough. And uh, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to get them on the board just like that. And we'll see how these things fly. So here we go. Alrighty guys, here we go. So we're gonna have a few throws here. Let's be honest, I mean, it is a set of flights. There's not a whole lot to talk about, but I do wanna cover a couple talking points here. The first one is, as with other systems or other rigid molded flights, man, they're getting to the board just as quick as anything. So these fly through the air, they cut through the air, aerodynamic. They get to the board in a hurry. I've noticed that with other rigid flights. But the, the big thing for me, the, the major thing, is you can use your own stems finally. You're not stuck with that one-piece design. So, um, yeah, I just love the fact that you can use your own stem. Now, that's going to introduce a lot of players that use those really short stems. Now you're going to be able to use the L-style molded flights or players that use really long stems. Again, you're not stuck with usually those three different lengths that they offer in the other systems. So, anyway. But, yeah, as far as the speed in which they get to the board... It's, it's pretty amazing, and I couldn't have placed that by hand any better. That is dead center of the treble 20. Honest to God, guys, I got to brag a little bit, and I normally don't do this in my videos. I don't really don't talk about myself. However, yesterday when I was testing these things, I'm actually going to put a picture up on the board before I forget. You see there, treble 16, and then the other dart just outside of that treble 15 had that gone in. That would have been my first ever, first time in my life ever doing that perfect leg of cricket. 
Unfortunately, yeah, I missed with the eighth dart. Then I went for the double 15. You can't really see it behind there, but I went for the double 15 with my ninth dart. Luckily, it missed inside. I didn't hit the double. Finished in 10 darts. It was 6.3 marks per round, but yeah, I had a dart at a perfect leg of cricket, all while using the blue L1s. Unreal. Never in my life have I had that opportunity. Oh, in case you're wondering, my first turn, trouble 20, trouble 18, bullseye. That was my first turn. Then I went trouble 19, trouble 17. I hit the 25 with my six dart. And then you can see the picture there. Trouble 16 and almost. So anyway, that's how much I'm liking them. Yeah, yeah never done that in my life. So these got to be working, right? I mean, let's be fair. I've combined them with the um, darts clearance darts that I've been absolutely loving. I just reviewed them, the 16 gram ones. And um, yeah, honestly, it's like a perfect combination. Oh, might as well throw these. So these are the L3s. And I've been trying to notice the difference between the two. It's, it's, it's hard to say. I've got them connected to the same exact set of darts. <laughs> They're both flying incredibly well. Wow. So yeah, what do we got there? 100 and a 95. So yeah, I, I, I've been switching back and forth between the, oh, I mean 105 and a 95. Yeah, so I've been switching back and forth between the two. I don't know, it's, it's hard for me to notice any difference really. They both perform exceptionally well. So I've been sticking with the blue ones simply because of that one layer cricket. Couldn't believe it. I was so, I tightened up too when I threw that eighth dart. Now, I gotta say something. Oh man, look at that, great cover shot. As with similar stiff molded flights, you're gonna see some people online discussing that ah, they get way too many deflections. Here's the problem with that. Those people that are complaining about the deflections are so bad, 134. The people out there complaining about deflections the front of their darts probably look like, I'll put a picture up over here. That's what the front of their darts look like. They probably are not using specialty points in that lip where the point meets the barrel. That lip is what's causing the deflections with these rigid flights. So you just gotta kind of be careful where you get your advice from. My match darts, I'm running specialty points here. It eliminates the lip on the front of the dart. I'm not seeing any deflections, so. All depends on how your darts are set up. So yeah, again, be careful where you get your advice from, I suppose. <sighs> Unreal. Cannot believe, I cannot believe how I've been throwing the last couple days. And again, partly it's because of these darts that I love so much from darts clearance. And again, these flights from everything I've seen, honest God, I'm not making this up. I'm not even making this up because they sent me these flights. I'm loving these things, absolutely loving them. No question that they are my new match flights going forward. Oops, as I say that, I pull one into the five. What was that in two? 125, are you kidding me? Yeah, so they're um, definitely flying really good. And um, I'm just going to have to do a continued use, continued testing. But as far as the durability, I mean, I beat the crap out of these things yesterday. I was so excited. I probably played for about six hours yesterday. There is literally no damage to these things. Actually, these are the same exact flights that I used for the entire review. Did you see any scratches on them? No. So, I mean, they will scratch up. But again, it all depends on how your dart is. If you have specialty points, there is no reason these flights couldn't last. A single set of flights couldn't last a year or more. So I'm blown away with these things. I really am one of the best products. I, I think I said that at the end of the video, but one of the best products I've seen, I've personally seen this year. So we'll throw this last one, Bullseye Vicinity. Ah, effortless to throw. They get to the board so quick, it's, it's unreal. You just don't have to throw those that hard. Now, to be fair, I lobbed that one, and that dartboard is like throwing at a brick wall. The most firm dartboard I've ever played on. So I really wouldn't call that a deflection, even though I lost 25 points on the floor. But hey, that's it, guys. Let's um, ramble it on. 
let's roll into the 180. We'll do a quick wrap up and that's going to be it for the video. But yeah, really hope you're enjoying it so far. As you can probably tell, I'm having a blast with these flights. So um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Enjoy this 180. It's a tight one. Here we go. That's a tight group. Wow. Yeah, we will take that one for sure. Just happen to have a duplicate set right here as well. But hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the close up look and review of the L Style Phantom Molded Flights. If you did enjoy the video, thumbs up, always appreciated. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the video. Let me know what you thought of these flights if you plan on buying them yeah let me know again reminder december 1st is going to be their projected launch date and they're going to be available pretty much worldwide so wait patiently for another month i think it's well worth it and i hope you guys enjoyed this sneak peek but um hey while we're here i might as well give them a recommendation right i usually do it for darts but from everything i'm seeing yet so far i will want to continue to test them further but man for me, these things are absolutely perfect. The big selling point, I probably mentioned it in the throwing part of the video, you can use your own stems, whatever stems you want, which that's the one for me that, that kind of wins the deal. Man, I'm gonna give these, ready for this? 9.8 out of 10, I think that's one of my biggest scores. I think we got a great product here. I can't wait for everybody else to try them out to see what they think, but yeah, you can't go wrong here, can you? Great, great set of flights, decent price, and the quality, absolutely amazing. So that's it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And hey, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.